This is the unboxing and the first face on test of the Samsung Odyssey Plus coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this is your first time here. If you're just as fascinated by VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. The Samsung Odyssey Plus has arrived at MRTV and of course in this video I'm going to unbox it. For all of you who don't know yet what the Samsung Odyssey Plus is, well this is the latest headset from Samsung and it just came out in the US for $499. Of course, this is the successor to the original Samsung Odyssey, which came out last year and which was actually the best Windows mixed reality headset. Now for this version here, for this updated model, it comes with an anti-SDE technology, which does away with the screen door effect. Well, that is what Samsung promises. Of course, I'm going to check that out in the full MRTV review, which is coming up. But now let's get into the unboxing of the Samsung Odyssey Plus. Enjoy. And here we go. This is the Samsung Odyssey Plus box, how it will arrive at your doorstep if you order it. And as you can tell, it looks very, very simple. There's nothing on it, no pictures whatsoever, just some Samsung logos and just Samsung Odyssey Plus written on it. Well, very, very simple, just as the first Samsung Odyssey. It also came in the same box, just one plus less on the top. Okay, so now let's open it here. And while I open it, I can tell you something about the Samsung Odyssey Plus. So it also has the same 1600 times 1440 pixel resolution per eye, just the same resolution as last year's model and the same resolution like the Vive Pro. It's an OLED panel. And here, what I say, the Odyssey journey starts here, exactly. It's an OLED panel. And the important thing is it comes with this anti-SDE technology that, as Samsung says, does away with the screen door effect. Well, we'll see about that in the full review. But now let's have a look here in the box. And once you open it, well, it does not really look very, very nice. The packaging is really not nice at all. Compare this with this incredible unboxing experience of the Rift or even the Vive. This looks as if it came directly from China, as if you've just ordered some cheap card box headset. And I really think that Samsung has to improve here. This is the controller, six degrees of freedom controller, completely tracked by the two cameras on the headset. And well, it is exactly the same controller that we saw with the Samsung Odyssey last year. And here it is, here is the headset, the main deal. <laughs> but well, let's first have a look here at what else is in the box. Let me try to get this out here and it doesn't really seem to come out here of the box. It seems to be glued into it. I'm, I'm telling you, this unboxing experience is so disappointing. This is such a bad unboxing experience, really, Samsung. You gotta improve here. And well, we know you can do it, right? Your Galaxy phones and so on, much better packaging than your Samsung Odyssey headset. So what is in here? Well, we got the warranty. We got a little cloth to clean it. And well, that's basically it. And we got some batteries here for the controllers, but this doesn't really come out of the box. Well, bad, bad packaging. But now let's have a look at the Samsung Odyssey Plus itself. Let's get it out of this little bag here and let's have a first look. And here is the very, very first glimpse that we get of the Samsung Odyssey Plus. Here it is. And well, it looks very, very similar like last year's model. Wow, nearly exactly the same, but I can already see some differences like the face padding looks better and we're going to have a closer look at it now and compare it with last year's model. And here we go on the left, the original Samsung Odyssey and on the right, the new Samsung Odyssey Plus. 
Now you can see some differences in the shape. So have a look here at the front part here. Look at this shape here is a bit different than last year's shape. It's a bit more compact, it's a bit smaller. And well, when comparing the weight, it does seem to be a bit lighter as well, the new Samsung Odyssey Plus. Now the biggest difference, as I can see directly here, well, not the lenses, the lenses look very similar, but the the nose part, the nose padding, we have much more room here as compared to last year's model. So this is really, really a big difference in last year's model. The nose room was much too small and it would kind of pinch at the user's nose, which was very uncomfortable. So let's have a look at the last year's model. So can you see the difference here? The difference is huge. The, the nose room is so small and here those nose flaps normally i had tucked them in because it was just too uncomfortable but now i got them out to show you how it looks and in direct comparison wow we have so much space now for the nose and well i hope that is going to be much more comfortable we're going to see later when i'm going to check this out for the very very first time and also here in the direct comparison, the nose room has changed a lot. Yeah, let's compare the other parts of the headset here. So let's have a look at the Samsung Odyssey Plus. Also here, we have the IPD adjustment just like last year. Then we have the two microphones. We have the volume buttons all the same. Let's have a look here at the headset itself. So yeah, IPD adjustment works. And here now, this is a difference. The face padding has changed. So before we had some PU leather here, but now we have some, some cloth kind of material, which seems to be much more comfortable. And just like last year, it is attached to the headset with Velcro. So that is great. And it feels very, very nice and well. Last year we had this PU leather, but now I had already exchanged it here with the VR cover because it was much more comfortable. So here you can see the VR cover, but yeah, this kind of material, this, this full leather, this was also used for the face panning and it was not so comfortable. It felt like a bit cool, cold on your skin. So this material will not feel as cold. It doesn't feel as cold as this PU leather and we have the same material here at your forehead and it feels good. It feels really great. It feels like high quality material and that is of course great. So I will have to do the MRTV sweat test of course and I have to see how that feels after you have sweated into it. Because well, for the original Samsung Odyssey, even though this PO leather does not feel so great on the skin, but at least you could easily wipe it clean once you had sweated into it. And for this material, probably it's not going to be as nice. Well, we'll have to see in the full review. I'm going to let you know all about it. As what the headphones are concerned, it seems to be exactly the same, the same AKG headphones like last year, which is a good thing because these were really good. And let's check out how you can adjust them. So it seems it's just like last year's model. You can adjust the position of the headphones and there are no differences as compared to last year. I would think so. Let's have a look and let's compare it right away. So some people said they had problems with this adjustment that the headphones wouldn't come down quite enough. Well, for me, I didn't have any problems with those headphones and I felt they, they work well and the adjustment is fine. So they are really exactly the same. If you had problems with them last year, probably you're gonna have problems with them this year as well. Or, well, if you didn't have problems like, like me, then you also won't have problems with these headphones now. Then last year you could kind of like um, slide the, the headset a bit out, but it seems that this doesn't work this time. Let me wiggle a bit more. No, doesn't seem to work like in last year's model. Actually, not many people knew that you could do that in last year's model, that you could actually um, slide it out a bit. Let's, let me show you that to you here. here. 
Did you know that, that you can slide out this part? Lots of people did not know that you can actually do that and probably that's why Samsung got rid of it. For the new model, you cannot do it. There's nothing coming out here. Well, seems like they forgot themselves about it. <laughs> no, but anyways, nobody knew about it anyways, so probably they thought this is not really useful. Now let's compare the iBox sizes. So Samsung says they have increased the iBox size a couple of millimeters. And well, in the very first comparison, just by the feeling of it, I can't really tell that it looks much bigger as if you would have much more space there for glasses or so. But well, I'm going to check this out for you in the full review and then we're going to see the difference. Let's have a look at the cable and the ports used here. So just as last year, there are no differences whatsoever. It also comes with an HDMI port and a USB port. So just like last year, same can be said about the cable, same as last year. And also here, you cannot detach the cable from the headset. Everything is fixed here. So if you would hope for some wireless module, does not seem to arrive for the Samsung Odyssey and the Samsung Odyssey Plus since the cable is just super long and you cannot detach it. Let's also compare the controllers for a moment. On the left, the new controller, on the right, the old one. And as you can tell, they are exactly the same. There is no difference whatsoever, just exactly the same controller as last year. And as you know, these are the improved Windows Mixed Reality controllers. They feel better than the ones that come with the other Windows Mixed Reality headsets. But as you can tell here, um, yeah, it still opens very easily the battery compartment. So that was one of the negative parts of these controllers. But other than that, well, good controllers. So that was the unboxing of the Samsung Odyssey Plus. And I might say this is quite a bit disappointing because you bought this premium headset and you kind of expect to have a very nice unboxing, just like the unboxing of the Oculus Rift or the Vive. But no, it feels like you got some cheap Chinese cardboard headset that you're unboxing. And actually for the Samsung Odyssey, for the original one, it was exactly the same kind of disappointing unboxing. But you shouldn't judge a book by its cover as long as the device itself is great. I don't care so much about the unboxing experience, but Samsung definitely, you can do much better here. So directly comparing the two devices, directly from, from the weight, I can tell that the Samsung Odyssey is quite a bit, the Samsung Odyssey Plus is quite a bit lighter as compared to the original Samsung Odyssey. So this is something that I'm going to let you know about in the full and final review about the exact weight of the two devices. But directly, the first impression, the Samsung Odyssey Plus is quite a bit lighter than the Samsung Odyssey. But now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this on for the very, very first time. And I'm kind of excited about it because, well, it seems like they did quite some improvements as what the padding is concerned and also for for the for the room for the nose there is more now so this is it this is the moment where i check out the samsung odyssey plus for the very first time and where i wear this for the very first time so let's do this okay All right. So I'm wearing it now for the very first time. And yeah, it feels better. It feels much better actually than the Samsung Odyssey. So um, directly from the beginning, I don't have any problems with the nose. When I was wearing the original Samsung Odyssey directly, I had lots of problems with the nose because there's simply not enough room here for the nose and it would pinch on the nose. So this is much better now with the new Samsung Odyssey Plus. Also, I can tell that the face padding feels much better than the original face padding 
from from this from the Samsung Odyssey, which had some kind of um, yeah PU leather style, which felt a bit cold and not so nice, but this really feels much better than that. Well, there is light bleeding now here. I can tell because obviously there's more room, but well, I have to see in, in the actual test how this would distract me. Other than that, it does feel lighter than the original. It feels really good, actually. It feels really good. And yeah, right. For my very first, my very, very first impression now, after having put this on for the very first time, definitely a huge improvement as compared here with the original as what the weight is concerned, but also as what, yeah, as what the nose room is concerned. And I read some initial reviews of the Odyssey where, where people said there would be um, light bleeding from the sides, but I couldn't, I couldn't see any kind of light ble bleeding here from the sides. So I cannot confirm this, but I can confirm there's more light bleeding now from, from the bottom here, because obviously there's simply more space now and it's, it feels much better. There's not this kind of problem that we had here with the original where these parts would pinch on your nose and definitely a huge improvement. So for my very first impression, very, very good as what the comfort is concerned, but obviously I will need to use it for hours to give you the final verdict. And of course, I'm so looking forward to try out the device and to see what this new anti-SDE technology brings. If it really eliminates all of that screen door effect and of course, how does it compare to the original Samsung Odyssey and how does it compare to the Pimax 5K, 8K and to the Vive Pro. And of course, you're going to see that all in the full review, which is coming up here on MRTV. But of course, I will have to thoroughly test it. As you know, my reviews are very in-depth. But my very first impressions you will get on the season premiere of season two of MRTV. And that is coming up this Saturday. Yes. So you can look forward to this Saturday when the second season of MRTV is going to start in MRTV live. I hope that you're going to be there and there I'm going to give you my first impressions of the Samsung Odyssey and how it compares to the Pimax 5K Plus, the Pimax 8K and the Vive Pro. All right, that's it. That's everything that I got for you for this unboxing of the Samsung Odyssey Plus and for this first phase on test. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up and do it, do it. Give it a thumbs up because then more people can find this channel. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you this Saturday for the season premiere of MRTV season two. Looking forward. Until then, bye-bye.